Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is iCast 2021. I'm at the Hobie booth and I got my friend Morgan with me today. A lot of you guys probably don't know too much about Hobie as in like what goes on, like the logistics, the fishing part of it, all that good stuff. So Morgan, what's up, man? Thank what's you up, so Nick? much. My name's Morgan. I've been working for Hobie for a little over 12 years. Uh, too long. <laughs> don't get to fish as much as I used to, but um, you age very well, though. <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks. No, I'm uh, so I'm the director of uh, fishing business development. So I work in marketing, sales, product development, okay. a little bit of everything. You know, okay. I worked my way up in the company. Was a sales associate, at, you know, doing tech calls, a brand manager, a product manager. Now I do this and. Yeah, I do whatever, you know, if it's got, if you hear the word fishing, I'm usually involved in it. So, so you are the face of Hobie Fishing, would you say that? Uh, I guess, yeah. Okay. They're like, oh, you're employed by Hobie and we don't want to hire someone, so Morgan, go do this video. And that's why you probably see me. Uh, you are in a lot stuff. of videos, man, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I do, uh, we do our TV yeah. show, Hobie Outdoor Adventures. Uh, uh, which we, is awesome. Thank I you. I really love them. We try. <laughs> um, and then we do uh, Hobie Bass Open Series, which okay. is our big bass fishing tournament right. series. We also sponsor about 40 um, local or localized or grassroots yeah. level uh, tournaments across the country. We do the Hobie Fishing Worlds, which is an international uh, tournament series. Unfortunately, that's kind of been put on hold with COVID at the moment. And that's all, you know, the whole COVID thing has also played into um, production and, and both, yeah. you know? Yeah. So yeah. I know you wanted to talk about that a little bit, right? Right. So yeah. Believe it or not, over the past few months, we've made more kayaks uh, at Hobie than we've ever made before per really? month. Really? Yeah. So we've, wow. over the past two years, we've been really um, concentrating on uh, picking up, uh, you know, nailing down factory variances and efficiencies. You okay. know, how can okay. we, how can we do things better? Right. You know, how can we um, just make things run more smoothly so we can make more boats. Be more efficient. Right? Yeah, be Part more efficient. So okay. obviously with, with more people having free time and getting outdoors, um, the whole entire outdoor industry has been, yeah, the demand has been huge. You know? Yeah, I guess a lot of people have been stuck at home and they're like, oh, what do we do? Let's go fishing. Yeah. And kayak is another big because you're, you're, by, you're solo. You know, you're, yes. you're not really risking yourself or other the COVID. Yep. I, I totally get it, man. It's yeah. a great time to be kayak fishing for sure. It is, and it's a great uh -huh. time to be in the outdoor industry, and I think Absolutely. it's going to continue for a while. So, I mean, our main goal at Hobie, in the you know, is is to ignite the world's passion to for having fun on the water. We want to make products that, you know, you go, hey Nick, go out on this boat, and yeah. you come back and you and you. Uh, come back with a big smile on your face and you're like, oh, that was awesome. You know? Absolutely, man. So, um, but right now, especially during these times, our focus has been getting product to our dealers, getting product to our customers, and we're trying as hard as we can. There are people behind the scenes working overtime to get you your kayak. I know, some, you know, I answer calls and we deal really? with upset customers that are like, yeah, I've been, I ordered my kayak, I've been waiting Where two months, Where is it? Yeah. four months, or my kayak arrived and it doesn't have a drive or a seat. And we are doing the best we can. It's, a, it's, it's probably more important to us than it, even it is to a customer to, we're trying to make a living making products, you right, know? So, right, so right. when we're not getting product out, we're as frustrated as you guys are and trust me, those dealers that are that have ordered that product for you, they're frustrated too. So we're that's our focus, and we're, we've caught up pretty well. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you know, every week there's a curveball. You know, oh, you know, we had these these uh, uh, components for the Vantage CT seat coming in, but guess what? Um, they're delayed by three weeks and because it's like, of a bolt or something. Yeah, because of a bolt. Material and it's or like, something. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. We told our dealers though that we would have them to them in three days, and now right. we got this news, so we just have to react. So we're doing the best we can, and we appreciate uh, everyone out there just understanding the situation that yeah. everyone in the outdoor industry is in, and and being patient uh, as we work our tails off to get you your product. So. But yeah. anyways, that's the that's the COVID thing, the delay thing, and I'm, you know, I hope that gap closes soon and we can get back to yeah, just absolutely. rocking and rolling. Absolutely. I mean, it is what it is. Everyone is in the same boat as you guys. You know, you right. guys are not alone. Everyone is, uh, you know, materials lacking, uh, logistics. It's much harder. It is. 
Um, you know, yeah. it is what it is. We'll get there, to it. There's for been sure. like plastic sure. we'll shortages and things yeah, like that. Yeah, you know? of and course. Yeah. It's uh, it all affects it. So, but yeah. Aside from that, what else you what else well, you got? I mean, I guess some of the crowd will want to know like what direction is Hobie Fishing going to right now? What isn't planned in the, for the future? Wow. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. No, we uh, we have big plans. Um, we. I mean, it's exci exciting times right now, especially Absolutely. with demand and everything. And uh -huh. we have a list of like 20 new things we want to do. And, uh, you know, we'll probably get to start working on some of that stuff soon. We 20 have 20 things, wow. Yeah, I mean, there's That's always, <laughs> we want to make a lot of fun stuff, you know? Wow, okay, so, well, you um, heard that. <laughs> yeah, don't hold me to that. Um, but, I, but, you know, Several of those 20 items I've been wanting to do since 12 years ago when I started wow. with Hobie. So wow. it's, okay. you just have to be patient and you can only do so much every year. And uh, a lot of it depends on the market and, you know, our, our product line and yeah. our SKUs and what's doing well and what's right. not. Like right. if we had if we had 50 kayaks for our dealers to to carry, they would hate us. So it's, too many it's also balancing SKUs and yeah, colorways yeah. and everything. So makes sense. But but yeah, we're we're innovating as usual with keeping the highest quality in mind. Um, and I, I think in the next few years you'll start you'll see some innovative stuff again. That's from exciting, us. man. That's a, so, and I know Hobie when they when they come up with an idea, um, y'all really take y'all's time with R and D and marketing research and. Yep you know whatever right it takes it takes a little bit longer to come out with a product because y'all want to make sure your product is the best out there is that correct yeah yeah, yeah. and you know yeah. always with a brand new concept or product yeah. um you can test things and 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 try your best and it's kind of a catch like from a manufacturer standpoint it's a catch-22 right because yeah. like say i'm like hey nick you and i own nick's kayaks and uh you know what to to make this kayak we need to buy two molds and those molds are both a half a million dollars each I see. and and then we need to buy 365 parts and that molds thirty thousand dollars that one's five thousand this this one's eighty right. and before you know it you, you and I have invested two million dollars into this thing right and we've got all the molds and we can start making components and then it's like well how long do we test this thing for to start getting a return on our two million dollars, right, right. you know, so there there is a time limitation there on, you know, in, investing that money right. up front. And if you look at our entire product line, we make a lot of products and things like that. So we usually give ourselves um, we we have a, a, a amazing team of designers and engineers. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of UV testing, like salt testing. They do all kinds of crazy testing in their laboratory at, at Hobie. Um, so that's kind of like phase one of the testing. Phase two is getting stuff out on the water right, and right. using and abusing it. You know, um, we've in the past we've we've uh, sent product out to certain people and had them sign NDAs. And, right, right. Uh, you collect feedback from that stuff. But say we say we design a um, a component for a seat and that component breaks that does delay the process of launching the product because we might have to redesign a new part or change the material on it and right. get, buy a whole new mold. Right. So it's a... It's a long process, basically what you're saying. Yeah, it's a so, long process. Yeah. And I, but I, I also think that um, we have it nailed down to a T. And um, obviously, we do the, our, our best to make sure that something is as bulletproof as possible. Uh, awesome. Anytime something goes wrong, I don't sleep good at night. You know, like yeah. there's several of us at Hobie that are like, I mean, we take it personally. Yeah. We're all passionate about kayak fishing and water sports products mm -hmm. and everything. And it shows in the products too. Yeah. Agree. Well, thanks. Yeah. And yeah. Th sometimes it's stuff that's out of your control. You know, you you make a part and it's made a certain way, and that's what you test and you um, and you you okay it and you're like, all right, order two thousand of those parts, and then they come in and they're different. Right. And so another important aspect is like quality control and parts checking and parts testing. So everything that we get in, we, right. we, we do that stuff. Once in a while, something might sneak through there where we're like, oh yeah, um, unexpectedly, like all of a sudden this part changed and, mm -hmm. and now we sent a thousand out to, to customers right. and they're all gonna break. That's, that's not what we're trying to do. Yeah. You know why? Because we have to, we have to, 
deal with all those customers who are usually unhappy. We have to send them out new parts, right. and we have to you know take care of them. So that costs us a lot more money uh, on the on the back end when that happens. I see. So I see. But yeah, we just you know trying as hard as we can, and um, we have our team's not as big as people may think. You know, that's something. Um, yeah. That's so a lot of you guys might not know this, but Hobie's still family owned. Is that correct? No, it's not. It's not family. Anymore. Okay, I'm wrong. We, okay, I no, was wrong. No, no, no. You were you were right. Uh -huh. It was kind of it was owned by uh -huh. um, two families, and we have new owners okay. um, as of January this year. Oh, okay. So it's a brand new thing. Brand okay. new owners. Okay. Um, okay. Three three best friends. Awesome guys. Super optimistic. Super energized. Um, and for all of us employees, like that is a, uh, it's it's cool, man. Like we're all energized and amped and excited to start this new chapter of Hobie. Interesting. And, Interesting. Uh, these guys have big plans. Really? So, um, so you know, we want to we want to keep growing and and getting into um, different markets and and That's cool. different different things. So Hobie's been around since 1950, and you talk to different people, and yeah. this person has no idea we make kayaks because they're they know us from sailing Surf, or surfing. Oh, and that yeah. person, yeah, yeah, that one yeah. knows us from sail, uh, surfing. Right. You know, so that's interesting. We have such a diverse customer base, um, and you know, we want to keep the Hobie heritage going, and Absolutely. and and we pride ourselves on leading Absolutely. the way, at least in kayak fishing. We pride ourselves in and leading the way and in innovating. You know, it's it's. Um, it's pretty funny now that, like, as of three years ago, every single other kayak manufacturer has a pedal drive system. Yep. We've, we've That's the norm made them now. for, yeah. you know, and and uh, yeah, it's the norm. But it's it's frustrating from our end because everybody made fun of us for doing that at first. And now you know, everyone and, jumping on board. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so yeah, and I hope like the hard thing too is I I see a lot of like customers or or new people getting into kayak fishing making bad decisions at the end of the day i work for hobie but i like i'm the reason i work for hobie is because i love fishing right not kayaks or anything like that like our watercraft is a means for me to catch more fish and right. when i see someone buy a product that i'm i'm like oh that person's gonna have a bad time on the water i'm interested it's I'm, okay. i feel bad for them and i want people to know that if you just want to skip all of the you know, if you want to go for the best of the best and have the best experience on the water, if you're a person that buys a, a, a good quality rod and reel or, you know, anything else like that, I know Hobies are more expensive, but there's a reason they are. Um, and that's because we stand behind our product quality wise, mm -hmm. innovation. It, it, it isn't free to spend six years like developing a new drive system, right. you know? Yeah. It's easy for all the uh, imitators out there to, once our patent expires, rip us off and sell our stuff for cheaper and go make it in o an overseas place, you know? Um, but I hope that customers think about that stuff when they, they we make all of our, our boats uh, here in the USA. Yeah. We assemble all of our parts in the USA. Um, so that costs a little bit more, but you know, we're, no, it's, it's important to have, yeah, you know, support it, the USA economy. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with and that. And that's me There's speaking no personally, you know, just no from, question a, about that. from, a um, seen, seen both sides of it. So cool, man. Yeah. Very in depth of mm -hmm. what Hobie fishing is all about. Uh, a couple more questions. Yep. How do you feel your presence in Texas is right now? I know you guys are based in California. You pretty much, I would say, dominate the West Coast, South Coast, like where Texas is. How do you feel about that? I think we do pretty well. Um, I think the kayak market uh, and the amount of people that are kayak fishing mm -hmm. from like a year or two ago has quadrupled. Dramatically increased, you know? yeah. So um, there's a lot of people buying kayaks and some of them are buying Hobies and some of them are buying products from the 12 or 15 other manufacturers right. that make kayaks. and. I, the other manufacturers make some fantastic products, you know, they and do, yes. it, it's nice. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm happy to see more people getting out on the water, having a good time. Enjoying the sport. Yeah. Enjoying the sport. And I, I also know that with time, if those people have a good time initially and they, and they um, enjoy kayak fishing, they're most likely going to end up in a Hobie someday. Or at least if they haven't, they should try our, our kayaks, our yeah. drives, yeah. you know. Um, and 
and I, you know, that's good for us, I think. And um, but at the same time, you know, I think we can always do better. I think we have some unique features to our drives and things like the kick-up fins. Like, I, like our drives compared to our drive that our competitors can make now, the one that, that they can imitate, that drive is over 20 years old. It, it's, our drives now have glide tech technology, so there's bearings in there. So our drives are so much smoother and easier to pedal. They have the kick-up fins, so if you hit something under the water, right. nothing's gonna break. They're gonna fold out of the way and, and you can keep going. Right. We right. have a patent on our fin design, actually. Um, the Interesting. We have the most efficient fin design in the in the that square tip that we have and yeah. the design and the hardness of our fins and everything. That's they're more patent. efficient okay. than that older fin. Interesting. Um, Interesting. I didn't we, know that. Yeah, we have the one you know 180, um, and it's you know full power in forward and reverse. When you pull that reverse level and the, and the fins flip around, you get 100% efficiency out of those fins. You know that's not the case with some of the other reversing things. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of unique stuff you know the adjustability of our right. drives the pin levers on the top that's also like a patented feature so there's a we spend a lot of money on trying to protect ourselves and make and, it better yeah. yeah and make it better and yeah. um there's just so many so much thought that goes into drives and seats and every little component of our boats yeah. and uh yeah so, good deal, man. I okay. know, I kind of went off on a tangent there. No, but. but it's good stuff because, like I said, a lot of people, yeah, they know about your kayaks, but they don't know yeah. what goes behind the scenes. They don't know what Hobie Fishing is really about, yeah. you know, what it takes to make a product. You know, I mean, this is good, interesting stuff um, that I personally would want to know myself, you know, being yeah. that I love your products and I use it on my channel. Well, so, thank you. Um, we love that you do that. <laughs> thank you. Last question. Mm -hmm. What do you think about YouTubers? Oh man, I love YouTubers. Social it, media, right? That's the way to go, isn't it? Yeah, I uh, I spend a lot of time on Instagram and a little bit on Facebook, and man, I I learn a lot off of YouTube. Um, I think, I mean, I I think people know that, you know, YouTubers, it's their opinion a lot of the time, but at the same time, like if say Hobie comes out with a video, you're like, yeah, that video is from Hobie. Of course, they're gonna tell you this is the best thing in the world. Right. But if Nick says something, that's your opinion, or someone else says something, and I think it's a great way for a customer to educate themselves on a product or or anything, how to tie a knot, or I mean, you can go on on YouTube and find anything. You know, yeah, that's anytime true. I, something breaks in the house or I got to do something else, I'm like you YouTube, YouTube it, right. Google, whatever. But yeah. um, I I can't. I mean, I think I can speak for all the outdoor manufacturers that you guys are awesome and an integral part and you help to, you help to like open people's eyes up to um, products and, and having, having fun out there. And so I, I love it. I spend a lot of time on YouTube. That's There's, awesome. If you're a YouTuber, I might be one of your fans. <laughs> like, there you go. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> I'm, I, I watch a lot That's of YouTube videos. That's very encouraging, videos. man. Yeah, encouraging. I, I learn a lot too. Like, I think it's a great way to keep a pulse on the industry I and like what's, what's going on out there. Absolutely. You know, um, I don't always get to try new stuff from other companies or, or things like that. So I try to educate myself as best I can, you know, watching videos YouTube, and things like yeah. that. So. I mean, a lot of people, what they don't know is, you know, they see the glamour part of my job as a YouTuber. You know, I'm it catching is pretty fish. Glorious. I'm doing this, you know, and you know, it's very flattering, but they don't know how much work I put in um, driving from home to the coast, spending what, eight hours on the water trying to catch fish, yep. going back home, importing all that video, then editing it, which takes a long I, time. I went fishing the other day and I filmed my, my, my friends and I. Yeah. I, by the time I had my first edit, it was like 24 minutes long. And I'm like, <laughs> mm, no one's gonna watch that. And then I did it again, I spent like, five hours at, in, at nine yeah. or six hours or longer. You lose a lot of sleep. Uh, I so I have mad respect for oh, that. Oh, thank dude. you so much. I mean, yeah. all the YouTubers out there, you know, keep doing your thing. Like I said, he might be watching you guys. You never know, man. So, but yeah, man, that's going to be it. I know it's kind of long-winded, but I really wanted you to guys, my audience, to know what Hobie's about, what their fishing team's about, you know, just everything behind the scenes because, you know, you really don't see that. I mean, it's not really advertised anywhere. So hopefully this was educational. But thank you so much, Morgan. Thank you, Nick. Thank you Appreciate for inviting it. me to ICAST. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I mean, you got you got great things going on here, man. Thank but guys, you. if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment. 
like the video, subscribe. Thank you so much. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Send me a DM. Follow, follow my man Morgan. I'll leave his Instagram account below. Follow Hobie. Give him a, you know, give him, show him some love. But yeah, that's it, man. You cool. have anything else to say? No, thanks for watching. Hopefully I didn't bore you too badly. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next one.